Welcome to Know Your Bible, the return of Christ to the earth. You know, the signs of the return of Jesus Christ to the earth are all around us. Distress and fear among nations, the return of the Jews, and wars and rumours of wars. Are you a believer in the Bible? If so, you are bound to believe that Christ, who visibly left the earth 2,000 years ago, will come again and appear personally among men to accomplish the great work that God has given him to do. Why? Because the Bible records that the angels declared to the apostles that he would come in the way he went away. Consider Acts chapter 1 and verse 10. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. If Christ is to come in like manner, as the apostles saw him go, he will come personally, visibly, and literally. For it was in a literal, personal, visible manner that the disciples saw him ascend. The Bible testifies that Jesus himself repeatedly stated when upon earth that though he would have to depart, he would come again. For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. In a parable in which Jesus pictured himself as a certain nobleman, Jesus said, He said, therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. But his citizens hated him and sent a message after him, saying, We will not have this man to reign over us. And it came to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him, to whom he had given the money, that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. You see, the actual nature of Christ going away shows us the actual nature of his coming back. It cannot mean the spread of his doctrine, for he asks, When the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith in the earth? And it cannot mean the coming of death to his people, for Paul speaks of those who are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. And says of such, that they will not sleep. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. The Bible reports to us that the apostles in their speeches proclaimed the fact of his return. Peter said, And he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you, whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things which God hath spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. Paul wrote, And to you who are troubled, rest with us, when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, when he shall come to be glorified in his saints, and to be admired in all them that believe, because our testimony among you was believed in that day. Remember ye not, that when I was yet with you, I told you these things? If the apostles preached the coming of Christ, ought not the coming to be part of the preaching of the present day? This age owes any truth it may have about Christ to the teachings of the apostles in the first century. In their letters, the apostles refer to the return of Christ as an event to be expected and practically calculated upon. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Saviour Jesus Christ. So Christ was offered to bear the sins of many 
and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them that love his appearing. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. And the Old Testament prophets foretold his coming in power and great glory. Yes, and all the prophets from Samuel and those who follow as many as have spoken have also foretold these days. I was watching in the night visions and behold, one like the Son of Man coming with the clouds of heaven. He came to the Ancient of Days and they brought him near before him. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots, like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. My friends, do not try to explain away these statements. You know, some may say that they have a figurative meaning, but such an idea is forbidden by the literal nature of Christ's first appearing, which was also the subject of prophecy before it happened. And consider how very important it is that you should have a scriptural view on the subject, in view of the fact that the individual benefits of his coming are for them that look for him and for them that love his appearing. Be assured that Jesus Christ will return to the earth. This is the testimony of the angels, the gospels, the disciples, the apostolic letters, the prophets of the Old Testament, and of Jesus Christ himself.